Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 28, and I will talk about the build settings and exporting the game. Once we've completed the game, it is time for export. To export a game, we have to make use of the build settings, which can be found from the toolbar File Build Settings. This brings up the build settings window. On the top of the window, you will see a section here, which is the scenes in build. Here we have to specify the scenes to include in our build. For the sample scene, I'll drag it directly into the scene. And now this scene will be included in our build. We can also click the add open scenes to add the opened scenes to the build settings. Now on the bottom left, there is a platform section and we have already covered this part. You get to choose different dedicated platforms to build for. And in our case, we will simply choose Windows, Mac and Linux. And since I'm running the editor on a Linux machine, I can only build for the Linux platform. The development build here enables us to include debug information or settings in our build. Unity has a very useful feature, that is we can profile and debug the build application. So here if we choose Auto Connect Profiler, then we can use the Profiler tab to view the analytics of the game in the build version. And at the bottom here, we have compression method. This is a compression for the content of the game. And usually we will choose LZ4HC. And at the bottom left, we also have the asset import overrides. This overrides the import setting of assets, such as the max texture size. We can override so that all the textures will not exceed a specific texture size. We can also override the texture compression method, such as force fast compressor or false uncompressed. Now once we are ready to build, we simply click build. This will bring up a dialog, and we have to specify the name of the file. So I'm simply calling it my game. Click save and it will ask us to save the scenes and now it will automatically build the game for us. The build process will take quite some time. Be patient and the game files will appear automatically once the building process is completed. So now the build process is complete and Unity has created a Linux app image for us. We can now directly run our game and you can see the splash image we created the last time as well as the animation that we created in the last episode. And since we have enabled the development build option, so at the bottom right corner, you will see the word development build. This is basically how we export our game. Thank you very much for following the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I hope you've picked up the basics of the Unity software. I'm Young Flicker and I will see you very soon. Stay tuned.